This video is a tutorial on how to answer and respond to discussion questions on Google Classroom. Once you open Google Classroom, you may access your announcements and assignments on the newsfeed, but we recommend clicking on Classwork, which is at the top of the web page. Here you will be able to see all assignments and discussions along with your due dates. As you can see here, this is just an example. So this discussion is compare and contrast linear quadratic functions. What, um, how are they similar? How are they different? And give a real world example of each. You can view the question here. Right here on the top right corner, this is your answer. You will type your answer there. Here I have typed my answer. Once you are satisfied with your answer and you believe you have achieved the level um, according to the rubric you are given, you may go on ahead and turn in. Submit answer, yes, turn in. This is the answer I submitted. After you submit your answer, you're going to go to see classmate answers. Here you will have um, several classmates to choose from. You should respond to at least three other people. So right here, I'm going to reply to Martin. I'm going to read what they wrote. The difference between the two functions is the exponent of the equation. Quadratic equations have a power of two and are in the shape of a parabola. And linear equations are lines and have a power of one. When you are responding to a fellow classmate, please make sure you remember you are positive. Um, we're not being insultive. You are not here to call anyone dumb. You're here to motivate student learning, especially in the circumstances we're in. So for example, I responded, what about their x-intercepts? Don't they have, don't they both have x-intercepts? I get confused because I've seen graphs, but the parabola does not touch the x-axis. And I responded, I'm pretty sure they both have y-intercepts as well. So right here, you will click post. Now, Either Martin could go on ahead and respond to my reply or someone else could read the comment and if they know the answer to the question that I asked, you can go on ahead and answer my question as well. It doesn't just have to pertain to Martin's post. Um, remember, you're pretending like you're having a discussion in person, but it's online. Um, just make sure you are respectful and we're not insulting each other. Once you have responded to a minimum of three people and made your comments and back and forth, you may go back. If you go back to classwork here, you can see that you have turned it in. You will also notice that once you click on it, it will go gray. But make sure you click on the topic to confirm that you turned in the assignment. Please make sure you pay attention to the due date. You can see here that I know I've clicked on this assignment before and it has been graded. Great. This is blue. I am missing this assignment. I can see that this is gray turned in. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask your teacher.